In the 1920s, Breck's literary fame was soaring. Hello, Ick bin Bertold Brecht. However, Brecht found his interest shifting towards politics. In 1927, he had begun to study Karl Marx's Das Kapital, and by 1929, he had embraced communism. His solidifying political beliefs would soon become evident in his plays as well. In February 1933, Bertolt Brecht's career was suddenly and violently interrupted as the Nazis came to power in Germany. Brecht wisely fled with his family to Prague. Bye! The exiled dramatist went from Prague to Vienna to Zurich to Finland. In May of 1941, Brecht finally received his U.S. visa and relocated to California to become a Hollywood screenwriter. Unfortunately, his unusual concepts were mostly dismissed by Hollywood producers. In 1947, during the years of the Red Scare, the House of Un-American Activities Committee called Brecht to account for his communist activities. On the 30th of October 1947, he appeared before the committee with a very blasé attitude, wearing overalls, smoking a cigar, and cracking funny jokes. So I said to the man, that's not a pickle, that's my wife! <laughs> But Brecht feared the irrational political climate, and shortly after his testimony, took a plane to Switzerland, not even waiting to see the opening of his play Galileo in New York.